Today's Tuesday, June 6th. I landed on Friday, June 2nd, and I am in London. Update. I've definitely talked about how I want to prioritize traveling, especially in my youth. I want to stay in different places for extended periods of time. So this is my very first trip to London. This is my very first time in Europe, very first time outside of North America. And I'm going to be staying for a little over a month. The flight here took 11 hours total. Um, starting in San Francisco airport to Calgary, Canada, and then finally to Heathrow airport. I woke up this morning feeling like myself again. Here is the view from the bedroom. You can see trains passing by. That building over there is the tallest building in London called the Shard. You can see the top part of the famous bridge if you look really closely. And then over there with all the tall buildings is called Canary Wharf. We're in central London, south of the river, in this neighborhood called Elephant and Castle. I've been here for a couple days, but I am now just unpacking and giving my belongings a place here because I actually just got all of my luggage that had all my clothes in it. I highly recommend if you're traveling this summer to get yourself an AirTag or some kind of tracking device for your stuff because I have been so stressed out the last couple of days and I have learned my lesson. We got to the airport and the carousel with the luggage went around and around and I was the last person just standing there waiting for my luggage until a worker came up to me and was like, yeah, like that's the last of the suitcases, like so sorry. And I'm asking people at the desk, where my suitcase is and they actually tell me they have no idea. He didn't know if it was at the starting point, if it was at the connecting destination. He really had no idea where my suitcase was. But there is a happy ending to the story, clearly because I am not sobbing my eyes out right now. I got my luggage back and I got to go on a major shopping spree funded by the airline. All my clothes was in this one suitcase. So I bought a couple outfits, I bought sleeping clothes, everything I needed the past couple of days. I got a pair of overalls from Levi's. I got a lot of basics from Brandy, but here's one of the sweaters I got. I got a couple of t-shirts. This one is blue with hearts, an oversized graphic tee. I got a pair of low rise jeans, these sweats I'm wearing, and then a blue sweatshirt that I have not worn yet. Honestly though, I should get paid for the emotional damage that was incurred. For shoes, I only brought three pairs. I brought this Steve Madden Slinky 
wedge shoes, a pair of sandals. Today I'm probably gonna go for the New Balance 550s. We're going to Covent Garden today for afternoon tea. Gonna walk around, check out the neighborhood. Just wearing a blue baby tee, some gray trousers. And then this has been my everyday bag recently from Coach. I think you just want to pick what type of tea. It says white jasmine, Egyptian chamomile. I literally always thought that this was called the London Bridge but apparently I've been wrong the entire time and this is actually called the Tower Bridge. It's just a bridge in London. Good morning. Yesterday was pretty warm. It was kind of humid, but it's cooling down the next couple of days. The weather here has been a mix of everything. It's been cold, it's been hot, it's been sunny, it's been foggy. Next week, we're forecasted to get thunder and lightning. So I guess that's summertime here. Sunrise has been at 4.40 in the morning and the sun sets at nine, which gives a lot of daylight. Anyway, right now it's 9 in the morning and I'm going to visit the British Museum. Side note, I love how pretty much all of the museums here have been free to anyone, everyone. It makes scheduling so much easier and also I don't feel rushed to try to get through everything I want to see and I know I can come back to galleries if I wanted to. I genuinely really like museums. I think it's fascinating to see old stuff. It's just really surreal to think about all the people that came before you and how there's gonna be so many people that come after you. Seeing how communities and the world has transformed. So yeah, that's what I'm doing this afternoon, which will be the exciting part of my day. And then I'm gonna come home at two and then I'm going to start work. This is future me editing this right now. Future me to you 
but present me to me separately but also somewhat related i went to the national gallery today which is an art museum lots of cool paintings i actually really liked it and here are also those clips which is the start of my work day. Also, I don't know if I mentioned yet, but I work remotely. My boyfriend also works remotely. He is in software. I am in business finance and we're doing East Coast hours here, or I've always done East Coast hours. That means we have to work starting from two and we end at 11 p.m. at night and then just go straight to sleep. To go get groceries. Level zero. Lift I'm getting more of these. I love these. They have a donut one. Donuts? Okay, we're gonna do a grocery haul. From Sandsbury, we got some fresh fruit. I like pineapple. Some smoky chorizo tortellini. So much soy milk. This has been my number one purchase at the grocery store since I've been here. Some peaches and British potatoes, British baby potatoes, some pasta sauce and heavy cream, a box of Jaffa cakes, the bigger box this time, I got 20. And then a new snack to try. I've never seen this anywhere. They're called penguin. Milk chocolate covered biscuit Bars filled with a chocolate cream. That sounds delicious. I have been loving trying out all the different treats here that I don't typically see. Like even though at home, I'm like not big on like snacks very much. Got some toilet paper. And then went to an Asia market and got some more rice noodles, mushrooms, soft tofu. Some instant noodles. Last thing, sliced beef.
This is pretty much what my days have consisted of lately. In the mornings, we go out, explore the city, and by afternoon, come back to the apartment and start work. I honestly could not think of a better work travel arrangement. I am so grateful that I'm here, and every day has pretty much felt like a mini adventure that makes me feel alive and just generally very excited to start each new day. This morning, we're gonna do one of my favorite activities and that's just going on a nice long walk around the neighborhood, hopefully try out a new cafe, bakery. We're on our walk right now and this bridge right here, that one, is actually called the London Bridge. I also am gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching London vlog number one. There will be three more posted eventually. Um, leave me a comment, like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.